All right, we are live. So ladies and gentlemen, as you guys join in, hashtag I'm here as you're watching on replay, hashtag replay. Um, today, I have my amazing client, RC. Um, RC, uh, you and I were friends on Facebook for a while, right? Um, mm -hmm. And I know one of the biggest things that was um, an obstacle for you before we started working together was time. So why don't you give us a backstory on who you are, um, what you do for work, and like where you're from. Okay, so my name's Arcee. I am a mother of four adult children now. Uh, for work, I work for Copart. It's an auction company. Um, I just do the front office administration duties, you know, help the customers out, drivers out that come in and pick up cars. Um, other than that, that's all I do. Married, um, have a dog that is not mine, but she's here all the time. <laughs> she's actually my walking buddy when I do go walking. Yeah, when um, we get the steps in. But yeah, she's been a she's been a little lonely since we've been starting the gym now. Oh um, yeah, the, yeah. The walking at the gym. You moved to the gym so, workout. Yep. Yeah, so she's. She just looks at me like, are we going? Like, no, <laughs> you can't say the W. You, you can't say the W mm -hmm. word around your dog. Okay. Um, no, or, or keys. Yeah. 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 Um, but, okay. Um, other than that, it's just, you know, trying to get this journey going and continue going. Yeah. You have been, you have been doing it. You've been crushing it, RC. And um, <laughs> RC is down over 25 pounds since we started working together. But, R.C., I know that before we started working together, um, there were some things that uh, you had some concerns that you were, if I remember correctly, like, you just come home from work, you cook, you're busy, then doesn't feel, you know, you're not really motivated to get it in, to get in the workout. So, like, before you and I worked together, um, you were stuck. Like, what would you say was your biggest struggle in your fitness journey? Biggest struggle was for me in my head because it was all in my head. Mm. It was making time for it. Okay. You know, like I said, my kids are grown. I don't have little ones that mm -hmm. I have to deal with anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. So basically, I would just, <clears throat> like you said, I would get off of work, make dinner, and it's dinner for two other, three of us, okay. and then still clean up. You know, still clean up and still try to get, like, laundry in in between before we get, you know, get to bed and start it all over again the next day. Yeah. So, it was just basically telling myself, okay, if you're going to do this, you have to make the time. Yeah. You know, I went down to one pot dinners. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know, just to cut down the time, cut down the cleanup, and made it happen. I pushed myself. You know, I I was thinking about joining a long time ago, you know, but okay. I kept telling, No, I don't, I don't have time. I don't have time. You know. <laughs> so you said you but, were um, you said you were in your like you said, uh you were in your head a lot. Like can you can you give me some more yeah. detail about that? Like what do you mean by that? Just constantly telling myself, Oh, when do I have time? You know. Mm. Um To be honest, I was not a morning person. Okay. You know, but my husband's always up by sometimes at four in the morning, just sitting there and laying there or five. So it's like my body got used to waking up early now, mm. you know. So sometimes we'll go on a walk in the morning, you know, and then like on the weekends, during yeah. the week, we, I can't. But um, on the weekends. So I started noticing, OK, I can push it in in the morning. You're talking. Or are you talking about morning. before? Are you talking about before we worked together? Like you started going on walks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's the one that he's the one that started pushing me. You know, let's go for a while. Let's go. Okay. okay. All right. So, you know, but um, once we started, 
you know. But before it was all in my head, like, no, you don't have time. Yeah. You know, you got to dinner, clean up. In my head, I wanted to chill, relax, you know. But it was just myself telling me, you know, you don't have time. You don't have time. When are you going to work it in? Mm. When do you have time for a workout? When do you have time to go to the gym when you have all this stuff to do? So yeah, it was just a mental thing, you know. Yeah, and yeah. A, a lot of people are actually in your same boat right now, especially during the holidays. Um, and mm -hmm. you are living proof that like it could happen and you could make it work despite being the holidays because um, you're still hitting uh, new lows on the scale. Not that the scale is everything, but you're still making it happen and you're still hitting mm -hmm. new lows on the scale. So um, rewinding back for a second, um, mm -hmm. the struggle you said, your biggest struggle you said was um, just like in your head, right? That was the biggest struggle. Mm -hmm. um, what else as far as, um, like, was there anything as far as like nutrition or training that was confusing you or anything like that? The, probably trying to think of what to eat, you know, everybody's always telling me, oh, small portions, you know, five meals a day, you know, small, five small little meals a day. Mm -hmm. My biggest thing is like, okay, but what? <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to eat? What time? I mean, like morning, you know, all that. It's yeah. just breaking it down. Okay. I didn't, I didn't do a lot of research on it, but it was just trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it. Okay. You know. So, but. so you thought, um, so you thought that you had to eat five small portion meals throughout the day. Um, mm -hmm. That was one, and then the other thing that that was kind of like. A roadblock, I guess we could say, is just like getting around it in your head as far as like, when am I going to do this? I feel like I'm so busy after work. Mm -hmm. um, how was this? How was like the lack of information um, and just kind of being in your own head? How was that negatively impacting you? Oh, it wasn't giving me motivation, mm. the willpower to just get out of my comfort zone and just do it. Yeah. You know? You know, I, I mean, like you said, we we're friends on Facebook and I kept watching the videos and I'm like, okay, I'm going to call them now, <laughs> next month, yeah. next month, you know, and I find, and you know, the real reason is because I actually knew somebody that was in your program, okay, which is, which is Elizabeth. Yes. So once I saw her, you know, cause I saw them before, you know, she, um, I saw them before. And then when I saw her. I guess it was like a year and a half into her program. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, <laughs> you know, you know, so, so I started asking her questions, you know, and she's like, yeah, you know, I lost inches and I lost all the pounds and, you know, it's, it's different when you personally know somebody mm -hmm. in the program yeah. and you see the before and you see the transition mm -hmm. then, and you, she has two small girls, Yeah, you know, my excuse no, you know, my, my excuse wasn't going to work. You're like, I can't use that. I can't use yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, it was in my head. It was me telling myself, no, you don't have time. When are you going to work it in? Mm -hmm. But, you know, you just got to get through that, that mentality, mentality of negative, negative thoughts. Yeah. You got to push that to a side and be like, okay, I got to do it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And it just falls into place. I mean, now it's like after dinner, after a workout, I'm like, okay, now what do we do? <laughs> Very cool. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was it was affecting you on a day to day basis because um, you felt like you weren't motivated. Um, mm -hmm. And like, how long did that go on as far as like thinking about doing it and then not pulling the trigger and then like, and then just kind of going into this hamster wheel of like, I'm going to watch more videos and get motivated and then I'm not. And then I'm going to like go back and forth. How, how long was that, that, that process? Probably a good year. Okay. Probably a good so year. So it took you time yeah. to, to, to pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So what was your hesitation? Like when you, um, when you and I first met or, you know, we were first like friends, 
uh, on social media. And now, now we, now I know that like, I know everybody that you know, <laughs> I, small world. yeah, super mm-hmm. small world. Uh, uh, we were talking about like, she's like, you know, my brother, I was like, I didn't know that was your brother. <laughs> um, so we, so like when you and I first met, like what was your initial hesitation, uh, in deciding to work with me? Um, I don't know what I was getting myself into mm. and if I was, if I was gonna stay with it. Okay. That's another thing. I don't want to start something and then stop. Okay. You know, um, because I wasn't comfortable. I wasn't, one, I was uncomfortable going to the gym, workouts, um, none of that. Yeah. Meal preps. Yeah. You know? So you're like, so, what am I gonna, what am I, exp- wh- what's gonna happen when I do this? Like... <laughs> Were you yeah, were yeah. you afraid of like not following through or? Yeah, basically like just starting it, but you know, letting my head get to me and be like, nah, this is too much, and you know, I don't have time for all this and mm. all that, and said, nah, I just pushed that to the side. I'm like, nope, get it, focus, yeah. you know, I yeah. gotta do it. You, you just, know, you just took the plunge. You just took the plunge. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very yeah. Cool. It took a. It took a good, I, you know, it's one day that I did, I was in the mirror, and you, you know, and I was like, how did I get here? Mm. You know? And I'm like, nope, this is it. Zip. Done. Yeah. Patty? <laughs> yes. Yes. You I know? love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, that was a hard, that was a hard look into me. And I was like, no, I can't, I can't continue like this. There's yeah. no way. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's tough to have those conversations sometimes when we're like, mm-hmm. all right, you know, we kind of uh, create these like stories in our head, right? Like you said, like, I'm too busy or I don't have time mm-hmm. or I'm not going to pull through. But then um, I think we never think of the opposite, right? Of like, well, OK, maybe like because you, you're still busy. Like, I don't think anything. I think if anything, you're probably busier than when we started. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, like, you're still busy, you're still doing this. I, I think a lot of people don't think of the opposite of, like, well, okay, so I am busy, and life is hectic, and it's Thanksgiving in a few days, for example. Mm-hmm. Um, but what's going to happen if I keep, like, going down this road, right? Like, I think a yeah. lot of people forget that route, because it's like, if you've been doing this for a certain time, you forget, but, well, like, what if I go another three months or six months and nine months and continue doing the same thing. Like we don't always think mm-hmm. of the repercussions if we like just the cost of staying where we're at. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. So, so we've been working together a little over six ish months now. Right. Since May. May. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and what sort of results uh, have we been able to accomplish together? Give us, give us all the juicy details and don't be humble. <laughs> so I'm down 25 pounds. Let's go. Um, you know, at this point, I'm not even shy, embarrassed, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was a size 16. Okay. And now, and now I fit comfortably in a size 14. Yes. Um, I have my size 12 pants hanging as motivation. Yep. Yep. You know? Um. Those didn't close, obviously, even a year ago. Okay. You know, and now I can get them closed, but, you know, they don't look right. Yeah, yet, yeah. It's, it's getting there. Yeah, it's right there. Like, yeah. The, that, that motivated even me even more because, like I said, size 12 pants, there's no way. Yeah. You know, and now I can actually pull them up. <laughs> yeah. So... I remember yeah. that check-in, like it was a, it was one of the check-in week. It was your check-in week. Mm-hmm. And I was like, if you don't have a smaller size pants, go buy some right now. And if you yep. do, I want you to put them like right in front of you. And you're like, yep. Hey, they zip up. I was like, let's go. Yep. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Yep. 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 And so that's where we're at right now. You know, inches, <laughs> inches and, um, down 25 pounds yeah yeah so it's it's yeah. about like um i think the 25 pounds is obviously huge and probably what gets like what catches everyone's attention but mm-hmm. um something like you know we talk about in our in our clients group all the time is like yeah obviously the weight matters 
um but also your body composition right like the way you're the way you look the way you feel um and mm-hmm. the way your clothes are fitting you obviously right yes yeah. yes Very yep. Cool. yes yes yeah um, guys if you're watching live put hashtag i'm here if you're watching on replay put hashtag replay uh so and if mm-hmm. you have any questions for rc please just type them in the chat and i'll see if i could find it somewhere um okay so 25 pounds down we've lost inches um, we're down pant sizes. We're going to be fitting into pants pretty soon that um, that you haven't fit in in years, right? Years, years. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So let's talk about like um, some of the some of the like maybe mental factors or some stuff that's outside directly of these like hard numbers. Um, so outside of like uh, online training and outside of fitness. Um, what would you say has been like some of the biggest changes that you've seen in your life? Mm, Oh, that I'm actually working out. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You know, never been to, I mean, this has been like the first time I've ever had a membership to a gym that I actually been going every single day. Yeah. Because you you started at home workouts. We started you with just home workouts. We just wanted mm-hmm. to get you get the momentum, and then like RC hit me up out of the blue, and she's like, "Hey, I think I'm ready for gym workouts." I was like, "All right, if you're ready, you're ready." Yep. It's the same with Patty, though. Uh, yes, from yesterday, um, she started as well at home workouts. Um, yeah, yeah. So I needed to push myself a little more. Yeah, would you yeah. would you say this is the most consistent you've been working out? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, definitely. And it helps that the husband wants to come along, you know? Yeah. It's so, always good to have so a good support system. Yeah. Yeah. He's always telling me, so are we going? What time are we going? You know? That's cool. So he's kind of pushing me too, you know, so he doesn't let me forget. I love it. So it's, it's, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. So you it's, got, so you got cool. him in your ear on one side and you got me in your ear on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So. So you're working out now. What what else has changed in your life uh, since you and I are working together? What about like um, 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 as far well, as I, like going out or I anything feel like a lot, that? Yeah, I feel a lot better. Okay. Um, like I said, my husband's a big like walker, hiker. Um, I'm able to handle the hikes better that we are, that we would do. Yeah. You know, every once in a while, not all the time, but we went back to one where I just I'm like, nope. <laughs> I mean, I I gave up halfway up, and yeah. this time I I went through the whole thing. So I was like, "Let's okay, go! That's there you awesome! Go. That's mm-hmm. awesome!" Yeah, yep. So, um, just feeling better about myself. Yeah, you know, um, physically and just the way my body feels, I feel way lighter. Mm. Um, I didn't realize this, I guess, because I was the same size the whole time, but. Boots, wearing boots all day, heels, you know, I can handle them longer now than 25 pounds before. Okay. You know, th- those are little things that I'm yeah. like, whoa, I'm not, I'm not tired. Yeah. You know, you don't realize how much that weight really affects you and just normal little things, mm. you know? What other, what other type of like normal little things you said? Um, well, like I said, like just. I'm not so tired after working all day and wearing the boots, you know, or at parties with the heels, mm. you know, I'm like, oh, ha, I can handle being in heels longer than normal, you know? Yeah. Um, just the, the walking, the hiking, the, on the treadmill, you know, so it's just, I don't feel as tired anymore is what. Very cool. Is what the big main thing is. So like, en- I don't feel ener- so tired. So would you say like your energy levels have have increased since we started? Oh yeah. yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Feel more energized. You know, more motivated. Not all that negative negative talk in my head is out. You know, it's yeah. just like nope, you got to do it. Yeah. Like you know, you went from not working out, right, or not working out very mm-hmm. consistently. Right to now, not like all. yeah, at all. Okay, <laughs> to now, like RC doesn't miss. Like she, like, and if she is gonna miss, she's like, "Hey, fatty, just want to let you know, I'm gonna make this workout up later. We're going mm-hmm. here th- today or something like that." So it's like she keeps in yeah. constant contact to let me know. 
Um, so she's like, I don't think you're, you're watching. <laughs> Shh, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. So like she, she lets me know because well, one, she knows like I'm going to hit her up if she does it, mm -hmm. but two also, um, like it's just another added form of accountability and like proud of you for, I'm proud of you for that because like that's huge going from not working out to like, okay, like I'm going to get these workouts done no matter what. Cause started at three mm -hmm. days and now you're you know now we've we've increased it and we're, we're at the gym yep yeah yep awesome yeah. Yeah. So. so rc um for anybody that's uh watching this or listening to this right now and they're thinking about starting their own fitness journey um what would you say to them and what yeah what would you say to them just do it <laughs> yeah Just do it. Get out of that comfort zone. Um, give yourself at least a week of, cons of consistency. And then it becomes, like they say, it becomes a habit. It's yeah. something you're going to miss when you don't do it. So it's just pushing yourself through that little hoop that's in the middle, yeah. blocking you, yeah. that little bump. Um, just do it. I yeah. mean, when I never thought I'd be in this position. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. You know, because it, it wasn't up here, mm. you know, so now it is. And like, like you say, when I miss, I'm like, oh, I missed that workout. You yeah. know, I gotta make it up the next day. You're officially you know, a gym so. rat. You're officially a gym rat now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Kind of. I love kinda, it. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. yeah not, but no, from... yes. It's just, it's just getting, just getting through those negative thoughts that we all have in yeah. the beginning. You yeah. know, you just gotta, just gotta do it. Just do it and it'll get easier every day. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So just. Yeah. Do it, get out of your comfort zone and like, mm -hmm. and that's how you, that's really how you make it a habit, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Once you, I mean, two weeks in, that's it. I got you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Once you see those pounds going, it's, it's your motivation to keep going because you want to see it more and more. You want to see that scale go down, you know, and your inches off those clothes that, that didn't fit you quite right. Mm. They're fitting, you know, they're fitting good now. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, all those little things are will add up and it'll keep you motivated to keep going, you know, until you reach your goal. Yeah, I love it. I love mm -hmm. it. Mm. Um, yeah. So, so RC, now um, last question is... Uh, we've been working, obviously we've been working together, what, like six ish months now, something around that. Um, mm -hmm. and you know how I work and everything like, but who, like, who would you recommend, uh, this type of a program to? Mm, like a person or just in general? Just, um, yeah, give us all the above. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. We'll do it in general because I don't want to name anybody, but mm. um Oh, you're gonna name names. <laughs> I was gonna name names. Like, um Tag them in the no, comments. Just any, right? Um not just anybody if you're feeling like Like what type of, of, of a person? Like what type of, of a person um would you recommend this type of a program to? Let me ask it like that. Just anybody that is wanting to get in better shape, you know, for your health and, you know, just for your future self, you know, for you to look the way you want to look, you know, feel better, feel good about yourself. And if losing some weight and inches, this is it. You got, you, you just got to push yourself, awesome. you know, one of, one of my, besides Elizabeth, my eldest son, He's 28, 29, okay. something like that. Um, he's getting married next year. Okay. And so, and so that's another, that's my backup motivation. Yeah. Because pictures are forever. Yeah. You know, and I don't want to, I didn't want to have a bad picture forever. Yeah. <laughs> from the wedding. I love it. From the wedding, so. And now yeah. you're not so going that to. That was another motivation. Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. 
Nope, I won't let it. <laughs> yeah, you're in so I much. Won't let it happen. You're in so much momentum. Like you're already like your results already speak for themselves and like you're in so much momentum right now that like i'm super excited for um you know just like what we're gonna continue to like accomplish together so cool yeah, me too i wanna i wanna get over that 50 pound yes let's go yeah you guys heard it here first <laughs> everybody's making like commitments now like well <laughs> during these lives patty said it yesterday <laughs> She's on her way. Now, RC, you guys heard RC, so she's on her way as well. So you guys heard her, so you guys got some added uh, accountability besides me now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, yep, we're the whole group. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Yep. Awesome. Cool, guys. So uh, if you guys have any questions for RC, uh, just put it in the chat. If you were watching live, um, if you're watching on replay and you made it this far, just put hashtag replay. Uh, RC, stick around. Thank you guys all so much for uh, joining, and uh, we'll see you on the next live. Bye. Bye. All right. We are not...